folks. We're back in business. This first real fat bike ride of the season. Got a nice like 25 centimeter dump the other day. And it is like a winter wonderland. Just in time for the holidays, it's awesome. <laughs> I apologize in advance for the terrible, terrible creak that is going on on this bike. I think I need to, it's definitely coming from the crank slash bottom bracket. I'm gonna fix that. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too bad in the video. So I just took off from my house and I'm gonna head off and do a little out and back in the Lower Gatineau Park. Should be amazing. It's like minus five. Snow is like nice and packed, nice and grippy too. It's really quite nice. So good. So yeah, I've been kind of dealing with what I think is a broken pinky finger from a crash that I had at Mont Saint Marie, like almost two months ago. And uh, I didn't really go to the hospital or anything, so kind of my bad there, but yeah, it really hurts. And I was doing laundry the other day, dropped a shirt, tried to kick it back up, and accidentally kicked myself in the pinky. And I think I, I did something bad. And anyways, it really hurts. Um, so yeah, got it taped up right now. I just can't, can't stay inside. It's too nice. Anyways, <clears throat> hopefully uh, keep the uh, rubber side down today and not do anything too stupid. But it's one of the beauties of, beauties of fat biking is relatively low impact. Snow is always there to sort of cushion you a little. And like, right now there's just enough snow to cover up all the rocks, but not necessarily provide any cushion on top of those rocks. So we'll see. Anyways, enough of this chit chat. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Salut. Oh. Oh, okay. Merci. No matter what you do, you're always going to spook somebody. All right. This should be pretty well tracked out. So we'll see, uh, we'll reassess the air pressure situation at the end of this guy. Nice grip, not bad.
gotta say, it's always kind of nice. And all the tax actions are just kind of smooth out. Everything turns into a flow trail in the winter. <laughs> Ooh, that's mush. Oh God. I took my half right. Oh yeah, nope. Lower 66, pretty much as good as it gets all year. Thing with that biking on video, it never looks as exciting as it feels. <laughs> oh, whew, feels spicy right now, right now to me. Right now. Oh god. Whew. All right. Aaron down. It's happening. All right, let's try that. I think I had about five and six, I'm trying to get down to like four or three. Should just give me a little bit better, a little bit better traction. It's always a fine line though. Cause I hate when you feel that like insane amount of rolling resistance. You got just not enough air in. So that's why I always start with more air in the tires because it sucks also to, you know, try and pump up your frozen valve. And, you know, if it's clogged with sealant in the middle of the winter, anyway, it's gonna be a total, total nightmare. Oh, wow. It's crazy how all the snow just like 
fused to the trees. And it's been like this for a couple days now. Usually it melts off, falls, but uh, makes everything just really, really picturesque. It's so nice to be outside. Definitely a good call on the pressures. I'm hooking up a lot better than before. Sure, it doesn't look as bumpy as it feels. It's the trail runners that tow into the snow and create all these nice little, nice little divots. Technically, these trails are fat bike and snowshoe only, but there's like so many homes that border the park and you know people like to go for hikes people like to go running so say what you want but at the end of the day people are just gonna do it Ooh. super run it out gonna be unclimbable. Running's a little sketch, but it could be worse. Free ride, that bikes. Always takes a minute too to recalibrate to the, uh, you know, how far you can lean your bike, if at all. What point are you gonna slide out? What point can you just sort of ride the two wheel drift? Been doing this for a while now and it never really comes back that easily, which is funny.
Another poop. They're everywhere. I do not have high hopes for this climb. But that's part of the fun. Pedal like you mean it. Okay, there's grip somewhere. Crazy. I even stood up and cranked a bit. Upper 66 is going to be a blast. Good as it gets, folks. This section, the famous 66 Ridge Rut, has claimed many folks over the years. They're in this huge group. So the thing is, if you get enough walkers together, it kind of does the same thing as snowshoes, but. Oh my, straight line rack. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah. This is, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Love it.
amazing. Sound effects, always a good thing. They make you ride faster if you make them. It's a fact. I'm also a doctor and a scientist. All right. Extra credit steeps, why not? Ooh. Hey, you know what? Not so bad. Sweet. Hey folks thanks for tuning in um you know always like and subscribe and uh, i just want to give a shout out to my sponsors as always full cycle ottawa norco bikes trees mountain apparel and noble